to five. The cheer goes up across the way. And the Trojans have reclaimed their rightful spot on top of the world of Pac-12 and West Coast football. The USC Trojans are champions of the Pacific 12 Conference. How do you do? Welcome to the 2017 USC Trojan football. Season. Enjoy the ride from now through January. Dr. Jones, big hole on the right side. High step to the 35, outside of the 30. He's at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Far right side, it gets away. 45 40, race to the end zone. They won't catch him. SC scores for SC to put the ball game away. Incomplete, intercepted by Beltel. Here we go. At the 30. Outside, he's got a line of blockers at the 20. He will score. Touchdown, Marvell Tell. Touchdown, USC. So, Jake Olson, how about this for an inspirational moment? And a good snap from Jake. Listen to the crowd. Look at the USC sideline. That's 1 0. Now, time to go get another 1 0 next week against somebody. We're fired up today. Play. Can't wait to play. I like uh, the physicality that Stanford brings, and it'll take it to you as you like. Team on me, team on three. One, two, three. Team. Fake to Jones on the first down play for the 25. Darnold rolling, throwing, end zone. Diving oh, catch. catch in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Darnold on third and three to Jones. First down. Southern California, the Trojans have beaten the Stanford Cardinal for the first time in four years. How do you do? Live from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum for your enjoyment, USC Trojan football is on the air. Today, the Trojans at 2-0, ranked fourth in the nation, take on the visiting Texas Longhorns from Austin, Texas. Back to pass on second and ten. Lots of time being rushed. Rolls right, wants to throw in the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown! The Longhorns have taken the lead, 16 to 14. Trojans now only 45 seconds away from their first defeat of the season. Two seconds remaining in the game. Lines are set, snap back, the kick is away. High enough, long enough, and he got it. It's good, we're going to overtime. The Trojans refuse to die, and the celebration for Texas is grossly premature. Darnold wants to throw on first down and does to the end zone. Touchdown! Deontay Burnett, first play of overtime. Wow. Touchdown, <laughs> USC! 24 24, second overtime at the Coliseum. Ellinger will run it again. This time up the middle, he goes to the two. Close well, to the, the football. And the Trojans are celebrating that they've recovered it. What a huge play by Rector. The Trojans now have a chance to win the game. From the 33, a 43-yard field goal. The kick is away, long enough. It's high enough. And it. The Trojans have won the game. Chase McGrath, the unlikely hero. How about the Trojans? Oh! I want to tell you what. Great teams have to go through a game like that. There's a point in each and every season where you got to dig down deep and find it within yourself to finish. How do you do, everyone, today from Strawberry Canyon and Berkeley back to Pac-12 action as the Trojans take on the resurgent Cal Bears in a battle of unbeatens. You be the guy that makes the play. You don't wait for somebody else. All right, here we go. Let's go, boys. Hand off. Malapé, no, keeping Darnold. Throws to Petit. He's got the 10. Five. It is down towards the goal line, and it is a touchdown. USC. Bowers takes the snap. Drops to pass. Winds and throws, it's intercepted! Chet Anuosu tipped it to himself, knocked it down, catches it! Bowers on second down, throws long downfield, and it is intercepted! Kelly Ross gonna bring it back up the field to the 35, and out of bounds! Kelly Ross, the Trojans are set up to put this football game away! Going on the road in the Pac-12 and getting victories is always hard and very uh, proud of our football team for being 1-0 on the week and 4-0 uh, on the season. It's one game. Doesn't keep you from your dreams. Doesn't keep you from a Pac-12 title. But this is 
California Trojans coming off of their first loss of the season. Darnold pitches to Jones, gets away at the five, he'll walk in. Touchdown, USC. Man fake, a touchdown run of 51 yards. Game is over, Trojans win, they're five and one. Now the Utah Utes come to town. How bad do you want to come back in this game and show who you are as a football team? I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. And it starts right from the get-go. And the handoff to Jones, straight up the middle, he's in the end zone, touchdown, USC! So this might be winning or losing time right here with 42 seconds left. Williams trying to get there for the lead, he'll come up short. Yeah. It takes a team, man, we believe in each other, we have great leaders on the staff that know how to lead, know how to bring everybody up and we are successful today. Coach Helton and Coach Kelly will shake hands out of the center of the field. That's the end of the 89th version of the SC Notre Dame rivalry, and it was all Notre Dame here tonight. This team is going to do something special. You will win a Pac-12 championship. Understand that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got no time to feel sorry for ourselves, no time to sulk, no time to pound. One, two, three. Family. First question. They've got to bounce back and get away from the taste of the Notre Dame game, it doesn't matter what happened there. The only thing that matters is what happens here and from here on in. You gotta love it. You go have as much fun as you've ever had in your life. Play for each other and show them what Trojan football is all about today. Darnold winds and throws towards the end zone and it is caught. Touchdown, USC. Deontay Burnett. Darnold will drop the pass, throw pretty much the same play. Vaughn's catches 35 down the sideline, 25 20, 15 10. around the outside, right side, gets away at the 50, sideline race, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, he's in! The Breeze has scored a touchdown for USC! Darnold will throw, three-step drop, right over the middle, it is oh, Tyler Tyler Vaughn's hangs on, touchdown, USC! And up, Jones gets away, he's at the 50, he's at the 40, and he will go all the way! Ronald Jones has done it for USC again! USC. Going up in the Pac-12 division and you know, being able to uh, control our destiny, you know, feels good. The sky's the limit. You know, there's a lot to improve. There's a lot to work on. We'll, you know, we'll go back to the on film on Monday, you know, figure it out. Now that was Trojan football right there, man. And welcome to homecoming Saturday at the University, the 2017 University of Southern California Trojans and the Arizona Wildcats, the last two teams with only one loss in the division, go at it here over the next three to four hours. Throw snap, and they get to it. A scoop and score, room service, Trojans. Wide open. Touchdown, Fawns. Darnold has a man. Touchdown, Mitchell. And sack swallowed back at the 18-yard line. And up to Jones. Touchdown, put his head down. Cedric Ware in the backfield. A little counter, find a nice seam off the right side. Ware, tearing up. Ware! Touchdown! Play of time, there's a quick strike offense. Take down field. Intercepted at the 35. Harris, got to give it to him again for the touchdown. Touchdown, Jones! And he hits him with the silencer. Squad, feel real good to win for the uh, chosen family inside the Coliseum. Oh, this just feels good, you know what I'm saying? We, we got one goal, and that's to get the Pac-12 title, and uh, we're on the way to that, so it feels great. 2017 University of Southern California Trojans aim to win their last true road game of the year, and with that, put a wrap on the Pac-12 Southern Division Championship race. A win here today, and SC will head to their second Pac-12 Championship game in December in Santa Clara. Throw for Pittman up in the air. He's got it. It's a touchdown, USC. Michael Pittman puts the Trojans on the board first. Play action to the car. Darnold throws. Burnett, five. Touchdown, USC. Look out, there it is. Harris has it up the sideline at the 20. He's got the 10. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Darnold, play 
fakes two handoffs, and then they leave him alone. He's going to run it in the end zone. Touchdown, Sam Darnold. Touchdown, USC. Matter baby, tight end right side. They run behind him, Matter baby. Jones cuts it back this way, and will go into the end zone. It'll be a touchdown, USC. Ronald Jones did all of that himself, and the Trojans probably have put the game away now. Well, Colorado cannot stop the clock, and the Trojans have won the ball game. It was good. Um, Coach told us, you know, the last time um, it was champions, it was it was the old guys. It was the old guys. So, you know, now it's our turn. Um, just show everybody what we can do. Uh, it feels great. I mean, I haven't had this feeling in a long time. We've never clinched it, I mean, before the season was over. So this is just a great feeling. I'm going to celebrate with my teammates tonight. And it feels good, man. Just trying to get to that Pac-12 championship, man. I know last time I was there, I was a sophomore. I lost to Stanford. You know, this year I'm looking for some redemption. Lots of storylines as always when these two get together. Families and workplaces are divided. Only one side will own this town for the next year, and we'll find out who that will be within the next four hours. Not much pressure, kicks it as Jane Harris watches it go off to the left side. And it's picked up by USC and run down the sideline. And it looks like Michael Pittman is going to score for USC. Oh, I see wow. what happened. And off to Jones, dives towards the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, USC. Rosen has time. Gets hit. Fumble the ball. It's loose. Houston picks it up. He's going the other way. Out across the 35 to the 40-yard line. Got a lot of passes this half. Throw. Intercepted in the end zone by Tell. Tell brings it out. He's at the 10. Out to the 15, 20. Out to the 25 to the 27-yard line. Marvell Tell. No, it he'll is. keep it. There's John Jackson's favorite play. It is. Sam Darnold goes in for the end zone. The handoff to Jones, into the line, off the right side, he's in the end zone. It's a touchdown, USC! As the clock runs down, four seconds, three, two, and one. The Trojans have won it. We live in Trojan town for another year. A conference championship, something that hasn't happened here at SC since 2008. Uh, what would it mean to wrap up this year with the conference title? Yeah, it'd be huge. Uh, you know, it's, it's what we work super hard for in the offseason, and um, that's what drives us every single game. You know, our first, our first goal is to win the South. We did that. Second goal is to win the Pac-12 championship. You know, we're you know, working our way towards that goal right now. The reason that you're here is because of the man next to you. How you have fought. How you have competed, how you have been a family for 12 football games. That is why you are here. What will you do for your brother today? 60 minutes of frozen football today for your family, for your brother. have reclaimed their rightful spot on top of the world of Pac-12 and West Coast football. The USC Trojans are champions of the Pacific 12 Conference. How do you do? We brought the pride and the glory back to USC.
Scott. Third down and one. Paul Perkins dropped for a loss. Delvon Simmons, the transfer from Texas Tech. True freshman to play this year for USC. Kessler steps up into the pocket. Throwing a deep ball. Has an open receiver. And it's caught inside the 15-yard line by Juju Smith-Schuster. They get up quickly to the line. Inches from the goal line. Cody Kessler. Touchdown, USC. The one for one on fourth down today. He breaks through the defense inside the 20. And taken down inside the 13-yard line. More than an extra point, although from a bit of an angle. And he's good from 21 yards. Something over the top. Neither team has had a sack yet. Michael Hutchings, the linebacker, came close, and they have one here. Rosen got rid of it, but he's ruled down. That's one the one before, throwing it up for grabs a little bit more than we've seen. Yeah, that was almost a bad mistake. Adoree Jackson is loose. Adoree Jackson's in the end zone. Touchdown. No flags on the punt return. Ball back to the 41. That's where the Bruins start, leading by a point. Josh Rosen lost the football. Knocked away by Claude Pallone. And it's a touchdown for Rasheem Green. And they come. They bring pressure. Rosen off his back foot. Intercepted. Kessler throws. Single cut. They brought extra rushers, and Rosen got it off at the last minute for a gain of a couple. The flag time off the clock than they did in the last possession. They had it for barely over a minute. Here's Justin Davis. He got rocked and then bounced off the hit and went to the 48. There. Second longest in conference history without an interception. Justin Davis is sixth straight carry to start this possession. And a first down. Things the lone running back. Kessler to throw it for the first time, and it is caught wide open. Tyler McNamara, Taylor McNamara, the transfer from Oklahoma. Win and make plays. He sends a four-man rush after Rosen, who throws another interception. Iman Marshall again. Jim Moore across the field to shake hands as he will suffer his first loss as UCLA head coach to the Trojans. He said famously a couple of Years ago, we own this town. Well, the ownership might be split right now. These are... Listen, it's Thanksgiving, but you're not going to stop now. You're going to have highways. And he did. There's Jackson. Back on the offense. And fighting through some people. And he keeps going. Two games at one time. That's a skill set. Here's Ronald Jones. Turns a corner. Puts a foot in the ground. See you later. On third and two. Donald is
had 21 wins vacated. And there's Ronald Jones on first down and 10. Able to turn the corner. They have all three timeouts left. Deshaun Kaiser under some pressure. Can't get away. And he's swung down by Chad and Russell. On fourth and 21, that's Tyler Newsom. No problem with the snap there. And he's able to get it away. Takes a bounce. Here's a Dory Jackson. Trying to set USC up. And then some. Punt return. Touchdown. He's missed on his last four, but clearly they haven't all been his fault. Kaiser to throw. Intercepted. It's picked off. A Gene Harris to the house. The extra set of eyes. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's all the sense in the world. Third down and four. Darius Rogers. I'm sure I've mentioned this. It's the first series of the game. They must think it's important, too, because a Dory Jackson just checked in on offense. That's him in the backfield. Donald looking his way and throwing his way. Jackson gets outside down the sideline. Stays on his feet. He's going to go all the way. A Dory Jackson. How many different ways can this guy score? Two, one, and just get it away. Here's Kaiser now. He's in trouble. Doesn't feel the pressure from behind. He's sacked out at the 49. Good to see those two have a... Light moment on the side. Seven losses by a total of 32 points for Notre Dame coming into this one. They've been in every game, and they're in this game. And here's a Dory Jackson. Leaps over one man. Has one more man to beat. He's got a block. A Dory Jackson touchdown again. So first and goal. After the P.I. And there it's easy. Juju Smith-Schuster. USC soundly defeats Notre Dame 45 to 27. Every day, as the sun rises and sets over the valley, the San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission is changing lives for good. How do we do this? Well, here are five things you need to know about the mission, how we help change lives and impact our community for good. Number one, we provide essential needs to those who need it most. We feed homeless and low-income individuals and families at various locations throughout the valley. We serve over 27,000 meals each year. Along with food, we provide clothing and personal hygiene items free of charge. And through our innovative survival outreach services, we have a mobile shower program that reaches out to the homeless in our community. We travel to numerous locations in the East and West Valley throughout the week, bringing refreshing showers, hot meals, and clothing to over 1,500 people each month. These simple items bring rejuvenation to the body and soul, enhancing dignity that can be the first steps to a changed life. Number two, our emergency family shelter keeps families safe and together. Through our family shelter, homeless families can stay up to 90 days while they work on restoring stability to their lives. They receive shelter, meals, counseling, and are part of a supportive community. Our case management team works with each family to help them work toward becoming self-sufficient, healthy, and contributing members of our community. To meet the increased demand for housing families in short-term need, we're renovating a building in the West Valley that will triple our capacity to a total of 90 beds. 
target completion date is late 2013. Number three, our three super thrift stores serve our community and support our programs. Our super thrift stores offer a wide variety of quality clothing and household items at very low prices. Our thrift stores help individuals in our work therapy program learn valuable skills and gain hands-on experience. 100% of the net proceeds from our thrift stores are put to use feeding the hungry and sheltering the homeless in our local communities. Number four, we are a faith-based nonprofit organization. Our approach to changing lives for good is to address the needs of the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Every day, lives are transformed from the inside out. Number five, community involvement is critical to our success and future. The San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission offers our services free of charge to the poor and needy in our community. The mission is able to accomplish this without any government funding. Our support comes from our caring community of individuals, businesses, and churches. Volunteers and partner organizations are compassion in action. They are the hands and feet of the rescue mission. Each year, our dedicated volunteers devote thousands of hours serving meals, distributing clothing and hygiene items, offering encouragement to our neediest neighbors. It's important for us to be a mission partner and, and to be involved in community ministry because we feel it's part of um, who God would have us to be to touch the lives of people in the community and to try to bring a measure of hope. The work of the mission is made possible by the compassion and support of friends just like you. Friends that believe no one in our community should go hungry. That families need to stay together. And when lives and families are restored, communities are transformed. Since 1998, we've been changing lives for good throughout the San Fernando Valley, offering refuge, recovery, and restoration. Will you join our rescue effort today?
How you guys doing? We're here with Matt versus with USC Trojans diving and swimming today. We got Jordan, Celia, and Tori. They're gonna show us what's up. What do you think we're doing today, Celia? Well, first we're gonna start you out with the spotting belt on the trampoline. Okay. And then we might do a little bit of synchronized diving and maybe a diving. Synchronized video. diving. I think we have some fun with that. Uh, what's your best dive? Maybe full out on three meter. It's uh, front two and a half with a full twist. Okay. And what do you think? So if you had to put me on the diving board, what do you think is possible that I do? Probably basic dive, front dive, back dive. That's all the credit you give me? <laughs> Tori, uh, what was your best moment here at USC as a diver? Um, probably this past year, I won an individual title on one meter NCAAs. Okay, well, what's a one meter? The low, the low bound people. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> here we go, check it out, fight off. Quick me large. That was terrifying, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too much. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Alright, backflip. Yeah. <laughs> A four? He just couldn't find the ten. Alright, here we're diving. We're actually starting to get in the pool now. Now they're showing us what's up. And it's pretty intimidating. This is called the chamois, and you use it to dry off like your legs and your arms. Right. So divers use well, chamois. No. It's not. It's a chamois. It's a chamois. Team of McDonald and Barkley. Sevens up. Synchronized diving. I'm about to show you what's up. TJ, what's our dive? And I don't know, but uh, we'll figure it out. we're gonna be synchronized in whatever we do. <laughs> Here we go. Step, jump, flip, straight, bam. That is how it's done. This is so hot. I did not know this is this is hot. That didn't sound good. This is hot, bro. This is hot. They jumped off of that one. I ain't jumping off that one. Compared to a lot of people who do um, attempt things for the first time in diving, they're doing really well. Most people are too afraid. Oh my god! What's it like? What's it like? <laughs> hey bro! I don't think I got this one. I don't think I got this one. We gotta do it. We're up here. Right, we was right, only right. one way down. No. Oh, oh. Oh. That is so high. Going to the top. All the way to the top. This is the equivalent of a three-story building, and we're about to jump off of it. Give me hype, dog. T.A. Give me hype. You're yeah. about to go down. Give me hype right now. And you're about to get the dive of your life. You ready for this? No, I'm ready. Seven, two, I'm ready. So it's time. Two, one, go.
championships, which that is what is expected of this program. You can't expect to do that when the defense is playing on point. This is Steven Mitchell, and this is maybe a little bit of the team. Brown is Justin Davis. And wide open, Darius Rogers waiting for it, making the play, and plenty more after. And he doesn't get tackled, and he goes all the way in for the score. This is Max Brown back in. And look, Justin Davis went for over 900 yards last year. Out of the pistol with Jalen Green now in a quarterback. And going up to get it, Darius Rogers. State game week two. I hope it doesn't. I'll say it that way. And part of it is just philosophically from a game plan standpoint fits and starts to different points. Kessler obviously had a fantastic career, but you would assume that Max Brown feels like he can step up and make these types of plays very consistently in the lineup and the type of go-long, throw-long ability that he possesses with the arm strength that Clay Helton and this U.S. position. There's Sam Darnold, a play action back in to throw, and he throws complete to Juju Smith-Schuster, <laughs> who spent most of this afternoon wide open. Flags have come down. Remains in the uh, freshman quarterback. And getting wrapped up and tossed down was James Tolan. Jabari Ruffin. 3 4 looks to it. So the 5 2 overall is more of a personnel type of description, but that personnel has a hybrid of a throw it. You come out with a, a run fit sort of mentality and then have to transition into being a pass rusher. There's Justin Davis. Rops into the end zone. And you, uh, for USC, it was such a big day. They just lost to Notre Dame. They just undergone the switch to Clay Helton. There's Imater Bebe, Daniel Imater Bebe, the older Imater Bebe brother. State. But what a thrill it was last year to end the year with UCLA. This year, the ending of the year. And now the crowd is on its feet because Jake Olson has stepped in the snap. And what a great story Jake is, named the Uplifting Athletes Rare Disease Champion Award winner for this year. Born with rhinoblastoma, which is cancer of the retina. And so we're talking about a young man who has lost his eyesight due to cancer. And he's been a big part of this USC program since he was a youngster. Welcome to the Trojan family. We've been waiting on you. Found the days to get you here, and it's so great to have our full and total family all together now. Remember, we are here for you. We are here to support you each and every day. Camera on camera. Hey, oh, hey. Just the fact that it's all happening, that it's here now is... Like, it's, it's just hard to put in the words, you know? Thank God, oh my goodness, it's shower. That's like... I don't have to bend down. Cool. This is my first time being on my own, pretty much. So I'm definitely pumped up. I feel like I could play Fortnite just right in here. So <laughs> this is probably my favorite part right here. I don't know. It hasn't hit me yet, to be honest. I feel like I'm just about to go like sleep over at a friend's house right now.
at doing what they have to do. We're unpacking bags, uh, putting jerseys on the shoulder pads, and just getting everything ready for, uh, for the players to get her. Just kind of all the last-minute uh, details, just trying to make everything right. So when the players arrive, everything's set to go, and we're ready to go and play the, the best football we can. When these players come in here, it looks like what they're – like what they think it's gonna look like. So, so you know, nothing, no, no surprises in here. I mean, we're all business in here. This is this, this is it. This, this is your standard double locker. You know, you got the, you got the dual programs, dual bags, dual cleats. We could actually work to tuck this guy in back here a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Standard single. You got Charles Burks right here, number 45. We got a big day from him. We got a, you know, uh, the shoulder pad is extremely svelte. I mean, that's a good-looking shoulder pad. Yeah, slightly different. The shoulder pad is facing us instead of facing in. Um, you know, we got his, uh, he's got a couple pair of gloves. The game gloves are going to go on top of his old gloves so he knows which ones are newest. Uh, yeah, helmet's on the right, pants bottom left. Uh, mouthpiece goes in the helmet, loop back right. That's what it is. Basically, I'm just going through and double checking all the decals, make sure we have everything on the helmet. That's good, good for the game. And then also, uh, just touching up all the heavy gashes, covers up the gray, puts, puts a little red on there. I'm putting on Kenny Bigelow's jersey. So you can see, there's a shroud inside, so there's the Velcro. These are always the hardest part because we, we want to make sure that this is, there's no wrinkles on the sides. And there's definitely no wrinkles on the front here. One of those perfect form fitting jerseys. We've always taken pride in, in our setups uh, to the point where it's actually been noticed by ESPN, uh, Fox, uh, a couple of news channels. They've, they've shot the locker room because it looks like a museum piece when we get done. Again, it's just the Jamokes taking pride in what they do.
Victoria Derrick, senior libero on the women's volleyball team. Welcome to our new locker room. So this is our big area for lounging, relaxing in between practices, watching film, reading our practice plans. It's super comfortable. We have these great, you can take a nap on here. Pretty much anything, super comfortable. Over here, we have our wall of records. So this wall is just super inspiring. We have celebratory pictures, intense pictures. So it's just great to look up there and remember why we do this every day and just how thrilling and exciting the games are. Over here, we have a nice plasma screen TV. Our coaches will come in and they'll hook up their computers and we'll watch film on here. And when we're not watching film, we're probably watching Say Yes to the Dress, SpongeBob, anything reality TV because, you know, we do that stuff. And then in here, we have video games. So we're actually going to hook up, I think, Mario Kart, and we're going to start, like, a bracket. So that's going to be really fun during Double Days. In here is our locker room space. It's so awesome. It's so spacious. We have these awesome lockers that have combinations on them. So you can keep your stuff really safe. And then we have these awesome drawers. You can put your hairbrush in here, your hair ties, anything you want, and then these awesome chairs that are not only extremely comfortable, but they also can store anything you want. So we'll put probably shoes in here, once again, socks, lots of socks, anything we basically need. So this is a great way to add space and save space. Let's see, let's go over here. We got the fight on on the wall, always. And then let's see, we have these awesome words that our coach put on our wall. He's really huge on just being a good person at your core, and that's going to make you be a great athlete. So it's just awesome to have these words, faithful, scholarly, skillful, around our locker room to just remind us what kind of person we want to be. And that corresponds to how we're going to train and compete on the court. And over here we have our drying rack. So this is a great piece of technology. What you do is you put your knee pads and your ankle braces in here after practice. And this machine is going to dry them out, so you don't actually have to wash them and put them in the laundry every single day after practice. Instead, we come back the next day, grab our knee pads and ankle braces, and they'd be ready to use, which is great. Thanks so much for joining me on the tour today of the Women's Volleyball Locker Room. We hope to see you guys at our first game Friday, August 24th. Fight on.